Hello farmers, welcome to Adota Farm. In today's video, I will be sharing with you five, five most important things that you need to avoid whenever you are starting a rabbit farm. Five most important things that you need to avoid whenever you are starting a rabbit farm. Number one is to avoid hard wire avoid hard wire clothes for flooding your rabbit house avoid hard wire clothes for flooding your rabbit house you know most at times we want to construct a house in such a way that there, will, there wouldn't be a space so there wouldn't be a, a space for things like snake like incense or our neighbor's dog jumping over the fence to come and attack our rabbit so we we'll construct the in such a way that there wouldn't be a space for any any form of insect or predictor to come into our rabbit house to attack our rabbit. So we we'll now use a hard iron. I mean for the flooding before we start fencing the roof of the rabbit house. So avoid using a hard iron. Like for the flooding, you can use things like Boko Haram net. The net must be a little bit tiny, but, the, but the, there should be space between the net for the rabbit whenever they pull, so that their pull will drop down. And whenever they urine on it, so that their urine will also pulse down because their urine has an acid. Why number two is overheating. We, we, as an over, we, we need to avoid overheating in our rabbit house how can we achieve this during the construction of the hybrid house we need to build the house in such a way that there will be enough ventilations for air to come into the rabbit house most of the farmers the rabbit farmers that are weakness whenever they are constructing their rabbit house they construct in such a way that there wouldn't be a space for ventilation for air to come into the rabbit house and it's not well done rabbits they love a cold area i mean a cold place not a hot weather they, they love a cold weather so in this area we need to consider whenever we are building this house, we need to consider we need to consider some some things like we need to know where the direction of the rabbit house we face like we need to know is it going to face the east the west this the south or the north we need to consider these things before we build our rabbit house to avoid overheating we need to build also a, a i mean to create a she a shade for our rabbit like i said earlier they love a coded place and not a hot place avoid overheating so we need to create a shade for them so they, they can stay on that, that place especially we need to have a tree in that particular area to serve as a shade for our rabbit why number three avoid allowing your rabbit to roam about for feed most of us are most of most of the rabbit farmer that are weakness they actually love allowing their rabbit to roam about some people said like we that some people said they need to open the cage for the rabbit so that the rabbit will exercise their body i agree with that but whenever we want to open the cage for our rabbit the it is important for us to sit there and watch them so that they won't so that the rabbit will not go far we need to sit down they watch our rabbit then drop them back inside their cage why number four you need to know that the rabbits that are rearing as a pet or for meat production or any other thing they do not respect you as their owner most of us love carrying this rabbit but like we need to carry we, we, we love carrying this rabbit around us holding them in our arms closer because they look beautiful or because we are railing them for pet so we love carrying them and this particular rabbit they didn't love we as in as we the the owner carrying them up and down they didn't they didn't like it 
their genetic trait is to build in the bush and not in the house so we trying to carry them as if we are disturbing them so they so they will start attacking us by scratching our body if you have been scratched by a cat before then I, I, I then I, I want to try a rabbit and see you then you will now see the difference between being scratched by cat and being scratched by rabbit you can see their back leg fingers it's very very sharp the reason why I stopped carrying my rabbit this way is because their back leg their back leg fingers they used to they, they used to use it to, to scratch me a lot they used to cause wound in my arms so whenever I want to carry them I need to wear a long sleeve cloth and also put on a glove in my arms in my hands before start carrying the rabbit so avoid carrying your rabbit avoid carrying your your rabbit because they are because your rabbit do not respect you that is the number four thing that you need to avoid <clears throat> in starting up a rabbit business my number five is make plan for your rabbit have your rabbit plan most of us we didn't know what we, we want to use this rabbit for some people are running this rabbit because just because they love the breed or just because the rabbit the rabbit looks beautiful some people are just rolling them for that purpose you need to know the reason why you are rolling this rabbit so you need to get your business plan so avoid rolling your rabbit just because you feel you love the trade or you just want to keep them have your business plan before railing your rabbit are you going to use it for meat production or for pet have it in mind before you ra raise your rabbit this particular rabbit i'm carrying is a very very stubborn rabbit so whenever i want to carry the rabbit make sure you put on a long sleeve and a hand glove on your hand before carrying your rabbit once again if you are new in this channel please kindly subscribe to our youtube channel Turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I drop our new videos. Please kindly like our videos and share.